Hello, welcome back everybody. Alex the Car Doctor here. Back with a, have I done an educational video? But anywho, got an um, educational video for you guys today. Today I'll be talking about the Ecotech engines and the common failures for them and how you can prevent from this from happening to you. So jumping right into it, I'm sitting down today, I'm feeling kind of lazy. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> So right here, I have a couple of Ecotech engines. Uh, Ecotech engines come in um, a different variety of sizes. The two liter, the 2.2, and the 2.4. It's three different size liters for those engines. And the vehicles they're found in are a wide variety of Chevy vehicles. Uh, that could be the Chevy Malibu, the Chevy Cavalier, just to name a few. Um, you can find them in Saturn vehicles, uh, the Saturn View, the Saturn Ion, um, also... Are they in the Captivas? Yes, yeah, the so Chevy so. Captivas, um, Cobalts, Cobalt SS's, uh, even your slingshots, for you guys didn't know. You know the little three-wheel cars, people call them motorcycles, but this, those engines are in the slingshots. Um, but jumping right into it, I'm gonna start off with this engine. This engine came out of a Chevy Malibu. It's a, um, I forgot what year was the vehicle, um, but this engine had 100,000, 110,000 miles on it, and it had catastrophic time and chain failure. Hence, uh, not hence, but this video is gonna be mainly talking about the time and chain failure. But as you can see, bad slack, the upper guide, it's supposed to be an upper guide right here, it completely slapped off. Um, the main issue I'm seeing with these vehicles, these engines, not vehicles, the guide, it's a guide that's right down in this little hole. Um, man, my lighting is terrible, hold on. Let me try this. Nope, still terrible. Okay, there we go. So there's a guide right down in this hole. And the guide bolt is right here on this plug right here. So you remove that and you can get to the guide bolt. That guide bolt is shearing off, um, basically pulling itself out the threads of the head. Yeah, pulling, the bolt is pulling itself out. I guess so much time and chain pressure is on that bolt. These are aluminum engines and aluminum is a little soft, um, but the bolt comes out, the chain will slack up slapping around real bad and you keep driving like that you'll have issues um here's a good one this engine came out of a uh a chevy cobalt ss it's the turbocharged version and it's the two liter that was a two four when you pull the head off for inspection you won't have any bad um play in the timing chain and you can I think you can see the guide right here if you look shut shine the camera can you see the guide uh, let me see can I fix my light but it's a little black piece straight down that's part of it um, also these engines come in port injection and direct injection basically what that means in a nutshell is how the fuel is injected this engine is direct injection direct injected you will have a high pressure fuel pump and the injectors will go right into the um, combustion chamber that's called direct injection port injection is the injectors are located approximately right here and direct me it injects right into the port kind of off topic but I just wanted to briefly cover that real quick um, but back to it I'm gonna show you another example on a Saturn view what happened to this customer so right this way so this is a 08 Saturn view it has the 2.4 yep 2.4 Ecotech engine in it um, this customer came in the car was uh, going into limp mode and no power and these are the camshaft actuators. You have a, a intake and you have an exhaust. Intake is gray, 
exhaust is black. So another quick test you can do before you remove the timing chain, uh, not timing chain, the valve cover, you can take a 10 millimeter and pop these out. You may have to grab them with a pliers right here. Um, it's, of course, it's gonna look a lot different with the valve cover on, but you grab them, pull them up, and you can look at the screen. It's a screen, let me see, can I find an example? What I do, because these are not the original ones, I took these out of another car for testing purposes to make sure uh, that was gonna fix the issue, and it did. They would have little metal, not metal, but aluminum flakes around the screen. That's how you can kind of tell you have a timing chain problem. Um, but on this one, as you can see, you have a lot of slack on the timing chain. That doesn't supposed to be like this. And it will not, the tensioner will not pump up and tension this up. The reason why, because if you look down in there, you have a bolt that's hanging out of the tensioner. Um, point the camera, ooh, um, right there, bam. You see, there's the bolt, it's hanging out. And the tip of the tensioner is gone. Um, that bolt has pulled, well, gonna waddle out the threads. Um, I am not gonna fix that issue because I don't wanna be liable, but I think the best way to fix it is, of course, pull all the time and chain components off um, and drill a hole and put a thread insert in. I don't really trust that, so I won't be doing it for this customer, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna have to break the news to her. Uh, I just, when I fix stuff, I like longevity. Um, best way I can think to fix that. And y'all write down in the comments below. You think that idea would kind of work, putting a thread insert in. Um, to me, I don't trust it, but you guys may have better ideas. I don't know everything, people, but if it was up to me, I would just pull the head off and take it to a machine shop and have them properly put the thread insert in. Um, that kind of take the blame off me if anything go down. But as you can see, I was getting ready to put a timing chain on this car until I found that issue. So I'm gonna show you the guide real quick that is behind all this. I don't wanna open it because I'm gonna have to send this back. But let me make sure that, yeah, this is the right guide. So this is the guide that the tensioner goes on and it pushes it, pushes tension. So that's like a tensioner guide. And this is just a guide. So it goes in there like so. This bolt is in the one that's causing the problems. This bolt will come out, causing um, this to kind of not put tension on the chain and causing the tensioner to overstretch itself, overextend itself, and it no longer can put tension on the system and this snaps off it's just it becomes a big catastrophic failure at this point so my recommendation for you good people out there um at a hundred thousand miles if you do have this engine either ah you either pop this sensor out the camshaft actuator but i say just remove the whole valve cover inspect everything what's going on or better yet just replace it because the intervals on replacing this timing chain is hundred between 100,000 miles to 150,000 miles. I have been seeing a lot of failures at the low 100,000 mile, around 110 and 130-ish. By the way, this one got 120,000 miles on it. So when your car reach 100,000 miles, if you have this engine, go ahead and just replace it. That'll save you a lot of headache. Before I forget, uh -oh. Uh -oh. before I forget, I want to show you one more other thing. These are interference engines. So what that means when the time and chain do go out. And excuse the mess, guys. We are still, yeah, I'm still moving in, in moving. and getting set up in here. So. so back to my demonstration engine. Like I said, this engine had 110,000 miles on it. The chain got so slacked up, it skipped jump, it jumped time in a nutshell. And when that happens on these engines, the valve 
will make contact with the piston, bending the valve. And when that happens, you will have these roller lifters. They'll, they'll get real slacky on you and just fall out. See, it's missing a couple of them. Um, and they have a lot of play. Well, this one's getting ready to come down, so it's... But I'm not going to take up too much of time, good people. Alex, the car doctor, out. If you have any questions pertaining to the Ecotech engines, you know, write down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. You are my favorite. Continue to like and subscribe. Alex, the car doctor, out.